Facebook Marketplace. What types of items sell on Facebook Marketplace? Why should you bother posting things on Facebook where you can just sell them on eBay? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five items I've listed and sold on Facebook Marketplace in the last few weeks. Coming up. What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. If this is the first time you're finding my channel, I'm a full-time reseller based out of South Carolina and I sell things on eBay, Amazon, and sometimes Facebook Marketplace. I just wanna make a really quick video for you guys today showing you these five things I've sold on Facebook Marketplace because I feel like for some items, it can really be the best platform to list them on. So if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a ton. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. But getting right into the items, the first item I sold was this airplane blueprint wall art. I picked this up at a yard sale about a month and a half ago or so. It was in one of my videos. I paid $5 for this and I ended up listing it for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. The reason I listed it so low is because it actually had a price tag on the back from like TJ Maxx or some store like that where the original retail price was $25. So I didn't want to deal with trying to sell this on eBay. So I put it up on Facebook, 20 bucks, took about a week and it did sell for full asking price. Anytime I get artwork like this that's big and bulky and hard to ship, I'm always going to cross post it to Facebook just to try to get, you know, maybe 80 to 90% of that eBay price just to avoid dealing with the shipping. This next item up is this vintage metal fan. I picked this up uh, about a month and a half ago. I paid $10 for it at a guy's like antique garage sale pretty much. I listed it on Facebook Marketplace simply because of the shipping. I didn't want to deal with that. And sold comps on this fan on eBay were only like 40 bucks. So to avoid dealing with shipping, I put it on Facebook for $30 and it took about a month to sell, but I did get that full asking price of $30. This next item is this Under Armour duffel bag. I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins about two months ago. I only paid $2.50 for this, so I got a great deal. And with an item like this, a duffel bag is so has such a wide audience. You know, it could be used for a gym bag, it could be used for a soccer bag or a baseball bag or a football bag. So I knew there was probably somebody locally that would want this. And not to mention that it would be kind of time consuming to pack up and ship on eBay. So I put this up on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and I think it took about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and I eventually sold it for $40. This Ping golf bag I picked up at Goodwill, I only paid $2.92 for this. Goodwill is so crazy. Like sometimes they'll charge $25 for a coffee cup and sometimes they'll charge $2.92 for a really nice stand golf bag. Again, with this golf bag, I just didn't want to deal with shipping it. The eBay sold comps for about $50 to $75 plus shipping, so I figured I could throw it up on Facebook and get pretty close to that amount. I put this on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and it took about three weeks to sell this one, but it did sell for full asking price, 50 bucks. This next item is a very good bolo. So vintage lawn chairs actually sell very, very well. Found these two at Goodwill. I paid $4.99 for each of them. So it was all in, you know, 10 bucks for the pair. Sold comps on eBay for this kind of style were about, you know, 70 to 80. There were, I think there's one for like 90 or so plus shipping, but it just costs so much to ship two lawn chairs. Honestly, I didn't expect somebody locally to be interested in paying you know, what I was asking for two of these lawn chairs, but I put them up for $60 for the pair and they actually sold very quickly in about three days. I think I listed them on a Thursday and I get a message on Sunday from a lady that asked me if I could bring them to her. So she only lived about 10 minutes away. I took them to her and she paid me the full asking price of 60 bucks. So like I said, vintage lawn chairs are a great item to be on the lookout for, especially at estate sales and, and yard sales. People just really don't see the value in these things. So those were the five items I sold on Facebook Marketplace, but I do have one bonus item that I actually sold on Instagram. I found this vintage Clemson shirt at Goodwill. I paid $1.50 for it. The graphic on this shirt was just out of this world. It was the full Clemson print from sleeve to sleeve. It had a big tiger. It had a blue paw, which I don't know about that. Maybe it's purple and it faded over time. It was probably from the late 80s, early 90s or so, made in USA. Just a very, very nice shirt. No stains, no holes, just a, a grail pretty much when it comes to Clemson fan wear. I was really excited when I found this shirt, so I posted it on Instagram to kind of brag about it a little bit. And a lot of buzz, a lot of likes on that picture. And I eventually got a message from one of my friends back home and she wanted to buy it uh, for her boyfriend. I was going to list it on eBay for about $75 to $80 plus shipping, so I wanted to give her a little bit better deal. So we agreed on a price of $65 with free shipping. So really, really great Instagram sale there. That's actually the only thing I've ever sold through Instagram, but turning $1.50 into about $60 or so with no fees. No, she paid me through Venmo, no PayPal, no eBay fees. Really good sale there. 
So there you have it guys, that's my what's sold on Facebook Marketplace and Instagram this past month. Honestly, I don't cross post a ton of items to Facebook Marketplace, but it is very, very easy to list on Facebook Marketplace, and it's also really easy to stand out among that crowd. People that sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace take terrible pictures. So if you put a listing on Facebook Marketplace with eBay quality pictures, you are gonna stand out at 100%. Also, it's really nice to avoid those eBay and PayPal fees, and sometimes that amount can actually negate the price difference from selling on eBay versus Facebook. Like, if you feel like you have to list your, your Facebook item cheaper than it would sell on eBay, just not paying the 13% in eBay and PayPal fees would maybe help that price difference a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Drop a comment down below and let me know some cool items you've sold on Facebook Marketplace in the past. But with that being said, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 o